For a taste of Irish village life, there's no better place to visit than the small seaside village of Carlingford, set on the edge of the picturesque Carlingford Lock and framed by the imposing Mourn Mountains. Home to just 800 people, marauding armies over the years have indelibly left their mark on this magical town. Apart from its quaint architecture and long and interesting history, what makes Carlingford so special is the belief by many here that this is home to the last remaining colony of leprechauns in Ireland. Some say they've seen them, some even spoken to them. But my advice is you've got to come here and have a look for yourself, particularly the physical evidence that you'll find around town. Head into PJ O'Hare's Anchor Bar and you'll find a display cabinet with what is claimed to be the hat, coat and skeleton of a leprechaun. Kevin. Kevin Woods is a special gentleman who claims to have met and spoken to the little people. Kevin has created a special cavern for visitors to learn more about the story of Carlingford's last leprechauns. In 1989, there was a special discovery here in Carlingford. There was, Kim. There was a leprechaun suit and bones and four gold coins found in the pocket of the suit by a local man, P.J. O'Hare. And he brought it down from the mountain and he told me that he believed that leprechauns existed in the mountain. Four years later, I was building a wall on my land here and found the four gold coins in a small leather purse. And in it was a little note to my friend Machilche. And Machilche is my name in Irish, Woods in Irish. And about four weeks later, I was coming over the mountain and I saw three leprechauns. They looked exactly as I would have perceived them in, in Irish mythology. Little green men, about 18 inches tall, not bigger than 14 inches. Leprechauns are spirits. There were millions of them in Ireland and they died out to a point that there were only 236 believers left in Ireland, most of them in this area. Thanks to a group of local people who lobbied for the existence of leprechauns, the little people have been actually recognised by the European Union, being officially claimed as a protected species in the Carlingford area under the European Habitats Directive on the basis they couldn't prove or disprove their existence. Stunning. Carlingford has certainly embraced their leprechauns. If you happen to be here in March, then look out for the annual leprechaun hunt. You'll need a licence, that'll cost you five euros. Then you can search over the Foy Mountain for a chance to win one of a number of ceramic leprechauns that are hidden amongst the nooks and crannies. It's all part of the crack. If you love a good story, then a visit to Carlingford on the picturesque Carlingford Lock is a must. It's a place where Irish mythology and folklore meet belief. Now, I know there are plenty of sceptics, but to really know whether the legend of the leprechaun is true or not, you've got to take a visit to the leprechaun cavern or have a wander over the rugged Foy Mountains. You never know what you'll find.